Hey folks, Low Country Computer Guy here talking about Windows 8.1. By now you've downloaded and installed the updates. So now we're going to talk about some of the new features that are all about Windows 8.1. First thing you might recognize is a start button. Down in the lower left hand corner you see that there's a start button. Doesn't do a whole lot like it used to but if you click on it it takes you to the start screen, you click on it again, takes you to the desktop. Not such a big deal, but if you right click on it, hit the right mouse button on top of the start button, and now you got some cool features. Some things you might have been looking for, uh, for before. Uh, shutting it down is a little bit easier. You can shut down right here. Uh, you can go to run, control panel, task manager, uh, system, programs, so a couple good features here just by right clicking on the start button. Oops. Next thing you'll notice if we go back to the start screen down here in the lower left hand corner as you move your mouse you'll see this little arrow. If you click the arrow that's now a quick and easy way to get to all your apps. So these are all the apps and programs that reside on your computer up here at the top where it says by name you can click the little drop down and allows you to sort by other uh, forms date mostly used and category so it gives you a little bit more control over looking at all your apps uh, then you can click the arrow down in the corner again and it takes you back to your start screen next thing you'll notice here is we got much bigger boxes if you right click on one of these tiles down at the bottom there's a now a resize button. If you click on resize you now have four different choices small, medium, wide, and large. So you have just a little bit more control over the sizes of these boxes. So the, so the apps that you use quite often you can make them much larger. And the ones you don't use so much you can make them a lot smaller. Okay also notice when I right clicked on this tile up here these group names have appeared. So if you've got groups of tiles together that mean something, you can give them a name. In other words, if you have a Solitaire, Free Cell, uh, and some other games on here, you can group them together and give them an actual name so that that group would be called Games. Um, the other thing you might have noticed already is a couple of brand new tiles that came out. They suddenly appeared when you got the update. The um, I'll get rid of that thing there. The health and fitness, the uh, food and drink, and help and tips. Those are the three new tiles that came out. You'll see um, help and tips over here. It's got a little question mark. The food and drink has the little um, silverware, and the health and fitness has the heart with a little heartbeat. Uh, symbol in there. So those three apps are new. So health health and fitness would be you know anything related to health and exercise and whatnot. Food and drink, uh, recipes and different things um, from Bing which is Microsoft Search. And then help and tips is actually a good thing because if you click on that it'll take you to uh, topics that will help you with Windows 8. So that that would be something that uh, you might want to explore with. And once again, if, if you want to close an app, which we're, we're in right now, take your mouse all the way to the top, it becomes a hand, and you click and drag with the left button all the way down to the bottom, and then release. That closes the app. So those three tiles are new, those three apps uh, come preloaded automatically. So the health and fitness, uh, the food and drink, and help and tips. The other thing you might have noticed is the reading list. Uh, that's something that um, became popular with the, with the um, tablets. If you're on the internet and you're reading something and you want to save it for later and be able to read it later without you know, bookmarking the page, you can add it to your reading list and then you'll be able to read it later offline. So that's that. Um, you, you may notice that the messaging tile is gone, the messaging app. 
And that's because Skype, which was already on Windows 8.1, or excuse me, Windows 8, uh, has officially replaced the messaging. So everything having to do with uh, video or uh, chat is now handled with Skype. So that messaging tile is gone now. Uh, some of the apps have improved. Uh, the most improved one, uh, other than the store, is the Mail app. When you click on Mail, you'll see that it's organized a little bit differently. Um, I don't have mine set up on this computer, but uh, you'll notice that uh, the, there's different toolbars and a, and a totally different look, um, faster and, and easier to use uh, than the one in the past. The other app that had a major redesign is the Store app. When you click on the Store app, the biggest thing that's changed is the ability to search right here for new apps. Uh, there now, by the way, is a Facebook app. Uh, that just happened just recently. So you can now get Facebook as an app uh, on your Windows 8.1 computer. And of course you have all these other options, uh, different categories and whatnot. But most people tend to know what they're looking for. So having this search button up here, the search block, allows you to type in what you want and search for and find and install what you're looking for. Okay, once again, to close the app, go to the top, click and drag to the bottom, and it's closed. Uh, next thing I want to talk about, if we go back to the desktop, if we right click on the taskbar now, and we go to properties, under the navigation tab, this kind of, uh, well, it doesn't kind of, it actually does show what's going to happen when you go either into the corners or when you click on the start button. So these options allow you to turn on and off different features. So if you don't like the charm bar coming out anymore because you don't need it, uh, because now you can right click on the start button to shut down, uh, you can hit the start button to go back to the start menu. So if you don't need the charm bar, you can uncheck this box and, and turn it off. Um, same thing if, if you want to um, show your desktop background on the start screen, um, instead of all the fancy curly cues and stuff that were there before. So whatever background you have here, if you want it to show on, on the start screen, uh, you can check that box. Um, so any of these different things here, you can turn on and off and then just hit OK. OK, one other thing that's different. Uh, in the old Windows 8, you were able to um, open up, let's say, two different um, tiles like the weather and then you can open up another tile like travel so we have two different tiles two different apps open I can take one and slide it to the right and then I can take the other one and slide it to the left and I have them side by side it used to be that one of them took up about a quarter of the screen and the other one was three quarters. Now you have the ability to either go half and half or you can actually manually determine the size. Okay, so that's something new. Um, weren't able to do that before. Um, let's go to the news real quick. If we take the news and we put it over on the right. the weather and then if we want travel we can now have three different apps open so it used to be the side-by-side -side or the snap function it used to be very limited you can only put one big one on one side and one small one on the other now you can put two equally or three or more equally uh, and size them manually on your own so that's a new feature. Again, click and drag all the way down. That closes whichever apps you want to close. And now they're gone.
Okay, the next thing we want to talk about is um, the cleaner looking start screen. Used to be when you installed stuff in the past, it automatically put a bunch of icons over here on the start screen. So when I installed Excel and Word, it automatically put these icons over here. When I, when I updated Java and Adobe, it automatically put icons here. Uh, well, that doesn't happen anymore. When you install something, it's up to you to put it on the start screen. So let's talk about how we do that briefly. If you're on the start screen and you go down to the arrow down here, again, that shows you all apps. If you find the app that you're looking for or the program that you just installed and you want to put it on the start screen, you just find it, right click on it, and then down here at the bottom, it gives you the option to pin it to the start screen or the taskbar. And then of course you can uninstall it if you if you wanted to, but uh, if you hit pin to start, it will then put it on the start screen for you. It doesn't automatically do it anymore, and it doesn't put it on the desktop either. So if you want it there, you're going to have to put it there. Okay, so again, you go to the arrow, right click the program, and either pin it to the start or pin it to the taskbar. Okay. All right, go back to the start screen by clicking our arrow. Uh, let's see, the Internet Explorer tile, the one that's on the start screen, is Internet Explorer 11. It's designed to work faster, cleaner, smoother, and of course more securely. So I'm just going to mention that this is Internet Explorer 11, and it's updated, and it's new. And then the final thing, uh, other than talking about the SkyDrive, the uh, SkyDrive is vastly improved. Uh, a lot of you probably aren't going to use that function, but uh, it is good for allowing you to, to view your files on other devices that you might have, um, to collaborate with other people. In other words, you can share uh, a document or a folder of documents with somebody somewhere else in the, in the world. Uh, just by uh, sharing the folder with them. Uh, but that's more new and improved and more um, intertwined into Windows 8.1. Uh, so you can easily save those items to the cloud, to the SkyDrive. Okay, the other thing, uh, and the final thing we're going to talk about is the personalization of your desktop and your lock screen. If you're on the uh, desktop here, and you right click and you go to personalize right here is where you can uh, change the desktop background and there's some new features there but more interestingly is you can go to the corner and go down to settings and down at the bottom it says um, well you can go up here too Go down to the bottom where it says change PC settings. And right here is the lock screen. You can click on that. And you, there's a couple of different pictures there. You can browse and put your own picture there if you want to. Uh, there's some different display options. Um, different navigation uh, options again just by going over here and clicking and choosing what options you want. Okay. That is the gist of it. Uh, not, not a whole lot of different things, but a couple, couple of new features, a couple improved apps, uh, making things a little bit smoother, a little bit uh, cleaner. Uh, so go ahead and, and play this video several times so you can get used to all the new things. And our next video is going to go um, a little bit more in depth on the start screen and working with apps, adding apps, removing apps, uh, changing apps, editing, editing them. So look forward to that. And hopefully this was interesting for you and, and gives you lots of information. And please don't forget to provide a review uh, below. And we'll look forward to talking to you next.